and welcome back to my channel. Amy here. As you can see, I'm in a little bit of a different setup. I'm super excited. I'm in my library today. It's my first video in this library, so I'm just kind of testing out the lighting. I do have a really big window in here, so I'm having natural light right now. So no other extra lighting other than, you know, the ceiling light. Um, but it is an overcast kind of day, but the lighting it seems to be okay. So y'all let me know what y'all think about the lighting. I still may eventually get me a ring light just so I can film in different places in here because my bookshelves are over here. Um, that's my TBR shelf and then my um, book of the month shelf is over here. That's my little nook area over there. I'm still waiting on my chair to come in. Uh, my little cozy reading chair. So, uh, so yeah, so this is currently where we're at right now. I thought I'd test it out and see how it goes. So y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about the lighting, setup, what y'all think. Should I get a ring light? Is it worth it? I don't know. But anyway, today we are going to be doing a book haul. I've been doing a lot of book shopping, obviously. I've had a couple book hauls on here very recently, uh, but this will be my, I guess my April of book haul but first of course we'll talk about my April book of the month pick only got one book for April because the choices I wasn't really sure on what I wanted um, nothing was really standing out to me except now I really wish I would have gotten the hunting wives because everyone is raving about how good that book is but I ended up getting uh, arsenic and adobe by Mia P Manansala but it sounds like a fun cozy mystery and they never had a cozy mystery as far as I know on Book of the Month so I was super excited about that. Uh, I haven't quite got back into cozy mysteries. I tried for a little while um, but it, I just wasn't ready for it but uh, we'll see how, how this goes. I'm anxious to um, get into it. I've heard some mixed feelings though but um, we're, we're gonna check it out. This is the first book in a new cul culinary cozy series full of sharp humor and delectable dishes one of which might just be a killer so i know this first book is um about a young girl who goes home to help i believe her grandmother's restaurant uh, she is a cook herself um, an ex-boyfriend comes into the restaurant and lo and behold he is poisoned and he dies so of course she is a suspect um so i'm sure we're going to be reading about how she is trying to clear her name and uh, i'm sure we're gonna have some very good fun recipes in here i wonder if they do the whole recipes in the back yes yes just like um my beloved booktown mysteries and there's another one i think it's the Oh, I forget. I forget the the series, but it's it's always got like a, a piece of food on the front cover. It's by Joanna Flukes. <laughs> Joanna Fluke. Um, this is the the Hannah Swenson mystery. The Hannah Swenson mysteries. Um, this one this one is lemon meringue pie. This is sort of where I left off uh, a couple years ago. <laughs> Uh, when I started this series, but it also has recipes in the back. Now oh, I need to fix my shelf, but I'll fix that later. All right, so moving on. This is our book of the month pick. This is the bookmark that comes that came with it. You get a bookmark every month with your book of the month choice. Next, I picked up Rebecca by Daphne Dumour. I uh, hope I'm saying that right. This is, to me, this is like a classic. I'm not a big reader of classic novels, but this has been really hyped up lately, and I'm just really curious about it. This is, um, I believe, like a thriller, classic thriller. This is the cover. I've actually been looking for this book for a while, but this is the cover I wanted. I'm not usually one, and I've said this before, I'm not usually one to get the movie cover of a book, but sometimes you just sometimes it you know if the book is beautiful enough that's the cover i'm gonna get and i just loved the colors of this book so i had to get this copy but i couldn't find it anywhere it wasn't available on amazon it wasn't at barnes and nobles um we really don't have a lot of book places bookstores around here besides barnes and nobles 
Um, so anyway, I was at Walmart one day just running in to pick up something and then run out and I passed by the book section and the colors caught my eye. So I knew it was fate. I knew it was destined. I just snatched it up and I bought it. Uh, it does have the Netflix film on the front, but it's, it's okay. This is, this is just the beautiful cover and this is the cover I wanted. What I hear about this book is that it's, um, a, we're following a young woman who um, marries, I want to say maybe an older man. Um, but anyway, his wife has passed away and she is sort of living in the shadows of his wife, Rebecca. Um, and is kind of haunted by that. Is that right? I don't know. Okay, let, let's let's see what the synopsis says. We won't read too much. Last night I dreamt I went to Manderley again. With these words, the reader is ushered into an isolated gray stone mansion on the windswept Cornish coast as the second Mrs. Maxim de Winter recalls the chilling events that transpired as she began her new life as the young bride of a husband that she barely knew. For in every corner of every room were phantoms of a time dead but not forgotten, a past devotedly preserved by the laid out and ready to be worn by the sinister housekeeper, Mrs. Danvers. A sweet, immaculate, and untouched, clothing laid out and ready to be worn, but not by any of the great house's current occupants. With an eerie presentiment of evil tightening her heart, the second Mrs. De Winter walked in the shadow of her mysterious predecessor, determined to uncover the darkest secrets and shattering truths about Maxim's first wife, the late and hauntingly beautiful Rebecca. Um, that was pretty much the whole synopsis. <laughs> um, but anyway, I've, I've heard nothing but good things about it. Um, so I'm looking forward to reading that one for sure. Uh, next up, I picked up Dare Me by Megan Abbott. This has been on my TBR wish list for a really long time. I think I watched someone's booktube video maybe last year or I don't know. It's It's been a while. I think it was um, Rachel with the Shades of Orange. She mostly reads horror um, and she did a video on like erotic horror. Um, that's where I got uh, the girl in 6E, the, recommend, the recommendation for the girl in 6E from her, which I absolutely loved. And this was on there as well, so I had written this book down too, but I could never find it. They have the, the movie cover, um, but I wanted this cover. So you see, I, it just depends. It depends on what the cover looks like. Anyway, uh, so this, I believe, is a young adult type of story. Dare Me reveals something very true about the consuming, sometimes ugly nature of female friendships. Addie Hanlon has always been Beth Cassidy's best friend and trusted lieutenant. Now they're seniors who rule the intensely competitive cheer squad, feared and followed by their peers until the young new coach arrives. Cooling and commanding, Coach Colette French draws Addie and the other cheerleaders into her life. Only Beth remains outside Coach's golden circle, waging a subtle but vicious campaign to regain her position as top girl, both with the team and with Addie herself. When a tragedy leads a police investigation to focus on Coach and her squad, Addie tries to uncover the truth behind the death and learns that the boundary between loyalty and love can be dangerous terrain. Dare Me hurdles past the glitter and angst of high school cheerleading right to the bruising inner struggles of adolescence. I don't know, it just caught my eye and my attention and I put it on my list and I finally found the cover I wanted, so there you go. Next up we have They Never Learn by Lane Fargo. This is actually, I believe, going to be a literally dead book club pick of the month, but I don't remember what month it is. Is it this month? I think it has to do with a professor being, being accused of murdering a student. A dynamic psychological thriller about two women who give bad men exactly what they deserve. Scarlett Clark is an exceptional English professor, but she's even better at getting away with murder. Every year, Dr. Clark searches for the worst man at Gorman University and plots his well-deserved demise. Thanks to her meticulous planning, she's avoided drawing attention to herself 
But as she's preparing for her biggest kill yet, the school starts probing into the growing body count on campus. That's all I'm going to read. Um, so yeah, so we have a professor, a female professor, going around killing men. <laughs> what? That's, that's a little bit different, but I'm excited to get into this one. Then I picked up The Burning Girls because this is, oh, and this is by CJ Tudor. This is um, the book troops may pick for the book club. I've heard really good things about it. it the, after reading the synopsis a couple times, it doesn't seem like something I would gravitate to, but um, it's, I hear really good things about it. It's the book troops book club pick. So we're gonna go into it. An unconventional vicar must exercise the dark past of a remote village haunted by death and disappearances in this explosive and unsettling thriller from acclaimed Arthur C.J. Tudor. A dark history lingers in Chapel Croft. 500 years ago, Protestant martyrs were betrayed and then burned. 30 years ago, two teenage girls disappeared without a trace, and a few weeks ago, the vicar of the local parish hanged himself in the nave of the church. So yeah, it doesn't really sound like anything, like I said, I would be into, but I'm hearing nothing but good things. It's CJ Tudor, so we're going to try it. And last but certainly not least, The Maidens um, by Alex Michaelitis. This is actually an art copy I received from Macmillan uh, Publishers. So I was super excited uh, to, to get this in the mail. So thank you to Macmillan. Uh, I cannot wait to dive into this. I will be definitely be reading this in May. It comes out in June. It doesn't give an, an exact date on the book, but um, I will definitely be reading it and giving y'all my thoughts on it. I may do a vlog on it, so keep a lookout for that. Um, but yeah, definitely, this will definitely be on my May TBR, which I need to film. I haven't read the synopsis of this. I just know I want to read it because it's uh, by Alex Michaelitis and I love The Silent Patient, so I want to see what else he's got for us. It says, a deliciously dark, elegant, utterly compulsive read with a twist that blew my mind. I love this even more than I love The Silent Patient and that's saying something. That was um, a little blurb by Lucy Foley who wrote The Guest List. And then it also says, um, Alex hits a home run in his sophomore effort. The Maidens is a page turner of the First Order. A spellbinding tale of psychological suspense weaving together Greek mythology, murder, and obsession. So yes, we'll be reading this very, very soon. All right, y'all, that's it. I have all of these and then my book of the month pick, everything that I purchased or was sent in the month of April. As always, thank y'all so much for watching. Uh, let me know again what y'all think of the new setting, the new background, the lighting. Is it okay? Do I need a ring light? Uh, what Have y'all read any of these books? Um, let me know all about it in the comments down below. Hope y'all are all doing well out there. Hugs from me all around, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.